Hello there. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. As long-term viewers may have worked out, I actually kind of like movies and I kind of like Star Wars. And seeing that I've been building all kinds of prop weapons for this month's 1000 subscribers celebration, we've had the Hellboy gun, we have had Deckard's blaster, I thought Kenobi's lightsaber would be a fantastic addition seeing it's from one of my favourite movies of all time. Plus, also, it doesn't hurt that it's trending at the moment and everyone's watching the Kenobi series. Anyone else seen Kenobi episode 4? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, spoilers. But yes, welcome to 3D Printed Soup, the 3D Printed Community Channel where we talk about all things 3D printing. So, I thought this week printing a lightsaber would be a great idea. You know what another great idea is? Liking and subscribing. Drag your cursor down, click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up, and maybe click the bell as well. Click all the positive ones, because that's how I stay relevant. Hey, let's move on, get ourselves printing, and give this a go. Let's print ourselves a lightsaber, an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Let's give this a try. Okay, with the printing done, it's time to start removing the uh, support materials. I'm using a pair of cutters that actually came with my uh, Ender 3S1. Uh, they're sharp and they're very, very strong. Be really careful if you're using cutters though, because you can really slice your knuckles open. I drew blood a couple of times while <laughs> making this video, but uh, yeah, just be really, really careful. Just remove all the flashing and all the support material that keeps the uh, pieces adhered to the bed. And then move on to bigger pieces. Now this one is the grip and that is a lot of support material on this one. If I'd printed this again, I probably would have printed it without support material just to see if it would print properly. Uh, but I printed a load of pieces at the same time. Some of them needed support, some of them didn't. So this one got it. So yeah, it can take some time to remove all this. And once that's gone, which should look fairly good. And if there are any bits of support material left, you can use a file or some sandpaper and get rid of them. Right, and here's the pommel. Now I want this to be lovely and shiny, so I'm gonna go over this really, really carefully with some coarse sandpaper and then some fine grit sandpaper to make sure it's all nice and smooth and remove any lumps and bumps. And then we've got the handle here and that's got the button on it. With that done, it's time for the black undercoat. I'm using a black gloss here to start off with. I've also got a uh, black gloss in a uh, pot, which I'm gonna paint around as well. And for this, I'm using mirror silver. It won't come out fully mirrored because um, it's 3D printed stuff, so sometimes it uh, has some layer lines, but it still looks nice. Now time to start the assembly. The design has gone for a peg and hole situation, so one end of one piece has a peg, the other end has a hole, and they all clip together very, very easily. And I'm really happy with the way that the grip has turned out here. I've removed all the support material and it's as smooth as anything. I just pop the emitter on the end here. I've painted that a nice silver and I've painted the bronze, two different kinds of bronze, so they sort of stand out together. And just attach the button and there we go. That looks great, I love that.
And with that printing and making and painting done, we have this beautiful thing. It's glossy in all the right places. It's shiny in all the right places. Use some very, very nice silver paint uh, to bring out sort of, a, sort of a metal effect on the sections in between the grips. And yeah, a nice bronze to a slightly darker gold around here because I had a look at a few of the reference photographs. And yeah, there's lots of subtle differences between the metal here, here and here. And yeah, I try to get that to stand up by using a few washes and just make it as screen accurate as possible. This thing was printed at 20% fill rate, so it's actually quite nice and light. From what I can work out, the actual prop itself from back in the day was a very heavy piece of metal. And yeah, Alec Guinness waving that around, it kind of been uh, easy for the guy. I mean, he, he, he wasn't a spring chicken when he filmed the first one. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. One of the best props from one of my favourite movies. Yeah, everyone likes the Graflex one, but... I actually prefer this one. There's just something more rapier about it. It just, the graphics one just feels like a, it's a chunk of metal with a little curve at the end. This has got little gribblies. It's got nice sort of molding to it. It feels good in your hands. It's got sort of thin bits and thick bits. And it's just, just, there is more personality to this one than any of the other lightsabers as far as I'm concerned, except maybe Count Dooku's, but, uh, once again, another British actor and a fantastic role that he plays as Count Dooku. Good old Christopher Lee. So this is a very, very nice prop. And yeah, kudos to the guy who did this. And he did this way back in 2016 when 3D printing was still in its infancy. So yeah, hats off to him. I've linked descriptions down below. If you do print this, once again, make sure you leave a make and a thank you on Thingiverse. And yeah, it is designed and yeah very very cool it's even got the uh, little belt clip here to click onto your uh, belt clip i'll give it a try and yeah it does actually fit onto your standard master replicas slash force effects lightsaber belt clips so yeah very happy with this and yeah very very excited to see the end of the kenobi series let's hope they pull it out of the bag and give us a really nice two-part ending we shall see but for now thanks so much for watching 3d printed soup Stay happy, stay safe, don't forget to like and subscribe, keep printing. And you do have to wonder, is that Jarrah he met at the start of the uh, Obi-Wan series actually one of the ones he chucked in the bonfire, New Hope? He didn't seem to care much. Then again, the guy was stealing his stuff, so hey, maybe he deserves to be on the bonfire. Just saying.